Hi there, this is James from Social Intense, and today I'm going to show you how to add live chat to Slack. With this application, you can chat with your website visitors right from any Slack channel. To get started, we'll add the application to Slack. You can start by going to the Slack app market and searching on live chat. You'll see our application here. And you can add it right to your application desktop within Slack or you can go directly to our website and just click the Add to Slack button. Once you do this, we'll run through the authorization process. You first pick an inbound channel where you'd like the inbound chat request to be set to. So in our case, I think we called it Live Chat Inbound, and you click Allow. Once you run through this authorization process, you'll be directed to our chat settings page. This is where you see a list of all the uh, chat widgets that you've set up. You can customize all the settings with the chat widget, including which channel the chat's routed to, the colors, text, logos, all that sort of information. Um, but when what I'll start with is showing you how the chat works. So we'll click Preview My Chat Widget. And you'll see by default we have our logo, our colors, and our text here. You can customize any of this information, including any additional pre-sales information. So say, for instance, you have an order number, customer ID or department that you'd like to select, you can set up that information. We do su support department-based routing, which means you can set up a number of departments that each route to a separate channel within Slack. So for instance, if you have a sales department, a support department, you can route those to different channels uh, within Slack. Let's start with the test chat and see how the, uh, the flow works. So this would be what your visitor would see on their side. And on the Slack side, you'll see that we send the inbound request right to that channel. You see all the information associated with, with that visitor, including the browser information and what page they're on. In order to join the chat, you just click on the uh, link to a dedica dedicated channel, and you can respond right from this channel. At this point, you'll see that we're chatting with the visitor. We will pull your Slack uh, photos, your avatars, right from Slack. You do have the option to turn this off, but you'll see that each chat is created in a dedicated channel within uh, Slack. These channels are archived after 12 hours, so they won't clutter up your left uh, side of your uh, Slack navigation panel. And we do this in order to be able to manage multiple chats at once. And you'll see that all the chats, inbound requests are just sent to the inbound channel while the dedicated chats each have their own, uh, own dedicated channel. We also have an application dashboard that you can add to Slack here. If you don't see it on the left sidebar, you can click Add Apps and click uh, the live chat application. So this dashboard will see, show you how many chats you've had, your chats in queue, average response times, that sort of information. We have quick links to your code snippet, which you can include on your website. So this is the snippet that would actually enable the chat on your website. A link back to the chat settings, which we just saw. This would just route to your chat settings. And a quick link to preview your chat so you can test your most current settings within Slack. Um, as far as detailed settings go, when we go into the dashboard here, we have much of the same information we see uh, within Slack. We do have a dashboard where you can see the, the, the high-level metrics. Um, we have the list of apps. So typically you would create an application, say for each, each brand that you have. So if you have different websites with different logos and such, different colors, you can create an application for each of these. If you support multiple languages on your website, you could create a chat widget for each language and translate the chat widget accordingly. You'll see under the Customize Text tab that every field that's visible to uh, our visitors is listed here. Um, so you can customize for the language that you, you'd like. Um, some other fields that are maybe of some interest to you are the chatbot settings. We do integrate with Google's dialogue flow for chatbot capabilities, so it can use AI to answer the simple questions. And then you do have the ability to escalate to an agent uh, within Slack. Uh, we have quite a few uh, documents in our help, help uh, knowledge base uh, that show you how to do this. 
Um, and then as far as integrating onto your website, we do have a WordPress plugin. If you happen to use WordPress, that you just enter an API key. We have applications in Shopify, BigCommerce, uh, Joomla, um, Wix, and others as well. And you can also find that information on our help documents if you go to our website. It's uh, help.socialintense.com. As far as additional settings, the agents go. Uh, with the Slack integration, your agents don't necessarily need a separate login to come to our website unless you want them to be able to access uh, reports and configuration settings. Um, as long as they're a member of the team, the inbound chat request uh, channel, um, then they can, all, they can uh, respond to chats without actually being configured here on the agent side. Uh, we do have some high-level reports to show you how you're doing. You can have an action report which shows all the high-level um, actions uh, and responses, the dispositions of the chats. We have an agent activity report. This one doesn't show any activity because it's just a demo site, but it would show all your agents and um, their activity. And we do have a post feedback option that you can see how you're doing on a chat. And that would just be displayed in a uh, feedback uh, report here. As far as integrations go and getting your, your information into third parties, um, our primary integration is with Zapier. So you can send uh, chat transcripts and leads to Zapier and get those into your third party system, such as HubSpot, Salesforce, MailChimp, or your CRM system. Um, we do have support for webhooks, so posting to webhook endpoints, as well as REST API where you can pull uh, transcripts and that sort of information from our API. Uh, again, to install a code, you can go to uh, the code snippet within Slack, or you can click the install code here. And uh, that's about it. So for more information and more help guides, just go to help.socialintense.com. Uh, help.socialintense.com. And you can click on the Slack live chat help and you'll see a number of uh, interesting videos and articles here. That's it. Thanks. Bye-bye.